semi worried, but I felt like I would hold it fine. At worst, I'd have to pull probes, which I did have to do. But right. I mean, I I didn't I wasn't too worried. Like, oh, I'm gonna lose this game, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Looking at the income tab, we do see you're quite a bit ahead on on harvesters. So I mean, the mules make it a little bit of a closer difference than you'd think, but uh, you are way ahead on the economy. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. So now the obvious thing to do is probably throw up. Yeah, the force fields. Do you think force fields are just insanely overpowered at this point oh i wouldn't say insanely overpowered i think they might be a little op but a lot of terran players uh the one i'm thinking specifically was d muslim i was talking to him in rac or some forum or something we were going back and forth and he was saying you know sentries are fine but they do too much damage for how much they cost and the abilities they have and he actually suggested that uh, they would need a slight damage nerf and they would be uh, not OP anymore. They'd be like a decent unit and they actually got the exact damage nerf he suggested. So, so what I don't you're think. Saying is Blizzard spying <laughs> on this conversation? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, if I made a suggestion like, okay, Marauders should do this or Roaches need to do this. And then it happened, I would kind of shut up after that. But uh, I don't know. They... I don't think they're OP. No. Fair enough. So uh, he is getting ghosts ghosts now, and I don't see that you've got any scouting uh, on his base yet. You are getting a Robo Bay up. Is your next uh, idea to get a, an Observer out? Uh, he, well, I know he's got a lot of Raxes just by how many units he's been pumping out. Oh. And I know he has a lot of Tech Labs just by how many Marauders he's been pumping out. So I think I get Immortals. Yeah. Yes, you do. So that's just your game sense kicking in. So that goes to show that pros sometimes don't need a lot of scouting info just for the fact that they can read into what players are doing and what they're pushing with. That's really interesting, actually. Um, I rely so much on scouting because I don't have that game sense yet, and it's just really interesting to see that you know uh, the skill barrier can you know reduce the amount of uh, scouting that you will need. Well, yeah, like he was sending, I had that first probe at that first watchtower and I saw like he's sending like two marauders at a time or whatever kind of tells you okay he's at least committed to that and then he's pumping out marines too so there's probably another barracks with a reactor on it and then you know you go from there you know if he's got three barracks I don't think he's going to be like teching up to anything super crazy sure. it's probably going to be bio like he's doing so it looks like you're going to make a push here instead and try to get him on the back foot and he's just about to see your stalkers and he does now and he goes back up the ramp uh, a force field there to just cut off some of his units. What are you feeling like you you need to do to be able to push in on his base and get this win? Well, I don't want to push into his base against uh, how much stuff he has. I just kind of want to control him and keep him in his base while I expo. Okay. I, I would rather control the ramp just because it's a lot easier, but I back off. Right, since he's not going mech or tech at all, or um, teching up or going mech at all, you kind of feel like you can just control his ramp? Well, I would like to. I think I saw a ghost or something at the time, and I got scared because I thought I was going to get EMP or he was going to cloak and then EMP or something crazy like that. So I backed off a little bit. But, I mean, controlling the, his base from where I'm at is fine, too. Oh, and your observer now does see all these SCVs. What are your thoughts on this type of uh, all-in attack? This I was like, oh, okay. I wasn't really worried. Usually I, usually I panic in these situations, but I was thinking maybe I should just fight him, and then as I pulled back, I was like, oh, that's just bad position. I'm just going to cancel my expo. Because, so, I mean, he brought his all, all of his SUVs, yeah. so I can I can cancel my expo and just, you know, mine. And well, I'll yeah, now he's forced to send all his SUVs back to his base because that was just a fail push. Because if, yeah. he, if he did try to push in, you could have just you force fielded your ramp and... Oh, yeah, exactly. that, you're in such a huge lead here at this point now. A nice force field's being put down. Uh, that was, ooh, an EMP to the face. All of your immortals did get hit. Uh, how do you feel the immortals versus ghosts is kind of in that sense? Do you think it's just too overpowered that they, they take all of the shields away or what? No, I don't No, I don't think EMP is overpowered. I mean, sure, it took the shield away, but as you can see, I won that battle pretty decisively. Definitely, so. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting to see. Uh, I definitely haven't seen a lot of Immortals used in high-end Protoss play lately, and I have to admit that's one of my most favorite units. Uh, what do you feel the Immortal is in this point of the game? 
Well, I mean, against Terran, mortals are just so good. I mean, anything mech, you need immortals. Yep. Like tanks, Thors, whatever. And then against Marauders, you need them too. So, and I mean, that's like 80% plus of your PvT games generally just, you know, through ladder or tournaments is they're going to be going either Marauder heavy or they're going to go like tank mech heavy. Right. So, immortals are always great great units to have in the in your mix i mean you can't just go pure immortals but you know <laughs> have a few so that's that's good to note for any you know uh, lower level players if you are laddering and playing uh if you're playing against a terran get a lot of immortals um like not a lot but enough because really yeah like he said against terran they don't really have a good answer to them uh if you have them well mixed in your group i mean high level players can obviously micro around that and and uh you know, EMP them in the face, but other than that, you're pretty safe with Immortals. Yeah. You just gotta make sure to spread your stuff against EMP, like I have here. Yeah, I see just, that. You just can't get, like, one-shotted, and you're still okay. Yeah. So, um, you obviously have your expansion up now. You know he does not have an expansion. Uh, do you feel like you can just sit and macro up and wait, or do you feel like you need to push soon? No, I mean, I have an XO, he doesn't. I have a bigger army, his is smaller, I got more probes. I mean, I'm away, I'm like way ahead in every sense of the game, so. He's doing his all-in-one attack again, he's bringing all of his SCVs out, so he's pretty much all-in or nothing. And at yeah. that point, it looks like it's going to be nothing, because there's just not much he can do. Uh, you split your forces oh so nicely, and can you just talk about the micro needed in this type of battle? Because obviously, if players don't know, uh, SCVs are targeted first, and I guess Satini does leave the game without a GG, but uh, we're going to go ahead and keep talking to Huck here about this battle. Um, as I was saying, yeah, with the SCVs, how important is Micro at, at this point? Do you think if you didn't Micro that he may have took that fight, or was it just so heavy balanced in your favor that you were going to win no matter what? Well, I think if I could have lost that fight if, like, for me it's hard for not to Micro, but, like, if I had all my stuff, grouped him like one little ball and he got off like perfect EMPs. He stemmed well, microed well, and uh, attacked move and all I did was sit there and attack move basically. I probably would have lost that but you know just spread out against EMPs the biggest thing. Make sure to use guardian shield and force fields and then uh, it's pretty much it. Right. I mean in that big of a fight you're just attack moving guardian shield spread force field. Yeah I just backed up a little here just to see that uh, he you did have about double the size of the armies he yeah. did so those SCVs really gave me a second thought. It looked like his army was a lot bigger than it was, but yeah, that was just one-sided all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I was really ahead at that point. Fair enough. So, uh, yeah, if you have any other comments about uh, Lost Temple or this game, um, go ahead and say them. If not, we'll move on to uh, what looks to be Metalopolis. Uh, no, I, have, I think we covered everything. All right, so yeah, I'm going to stop the video here, and we'll move on to Metalopolis. Thanks, guys. Tune in to the next game. Bye.